Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today's video, if you haven't guessed by the title, is going to be another what I have stopped purchasing video. The only difference with this one is that with the things that I've stopped purchasing, I kind of replace them with better quality items. So needless to say, most of the stuff that I am mentioning will be linked down below so you guys can check them out for yourself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Number one is probably gonna be a little bit of TMI, but ladies, you guys know what I'm saying with this and that is pads. I have stopped purchasing pads back in June, late June, I should say. I felt that I was wasting a lot of money. I felt that it was super, super bad for the environment. And of course I wanted a change and I wanted something that didn't involve a diva cup. So I ditched the pads and bought reusable pads and period underwear. Um, I will have a video dedicated to all of this, how, how I use it, how I wash them, where I bought them, everything will be included in that one video. But I did want to say that with me not purchasing, disposable pads each month has saved me $50 a month. Now a lot of people think that $50 isn't a lot. Trust me, it's a lot when you are throwing those things into the landfill and it just, it's bad for your wallet and just bad for the environment in general. So yes, I have stopped purchasing pads and switched over to the reusable section. Number two is big and I feel like this is one of the biggest problems we have, especially in the United States and that is plastic Tupperware. I grew up my whole life with plastic Tupperware. I've never seen anything other than reusing those plastic Tupperwares, the butter bowls, all those things until they break. And the truth be told is that they are not healthy for us. They're bad for the environment and they do not last long at all. So I had plastic Tupperwares in my cabinet when I moved in here because when I moved in here, a lot of people gave me a couple things to start off my apartment, which I was super, super grateful for. But with me saving up some money, I decided to ditch the plastic Tupperware forever and purchase some nice glass Tupperware. Not only is it like microwave safe and it's durable, it's also oven safe. So I can actually cook things in them and put them in the oven. Like, can you really do that with plastic Tupperware? No. So I've had these new set that I've had of um, glass Tupperware for I wanna say about like four months now. I bring it to work with me. I carry it in my backpack. There was one time I dropped one and it did not break whatsoever, which I was shocked because when I hear glassic Tupperware, I think of, oh my God, what if it breaks? You guys, if you get some heavy duty glass Tupperware, it will not break. And yes, the top part is plastic, the, the seal part. I haven't found any glass Tupperware that has glass tops yet. I don't even know if they make those, but it is a lot better than having the whole thing plastic. So needless to say, I am not buying plastic Tupperwares or will not be buying plastic Tupperwares in the near future. I will be sticking to my glass Tupperwares. Number three, is mascara. I have completely stopped wearing and purchasing mascara in general. Um, number one, I hated the way it felt on my eyes. I always felt like my eyes were itchy. Maybe I was allergic to most of the mascara that I was using and I just felt like it, they were always so expensive for no reason. I know you could probably use false lashes. Me, I just rather go the natural look as of the, the state in my life. So no, I didn't replace this item. This is probably the one item on my list that I did not replace. I just don't see the purpose of me wearing mascara. To be honest with you, the main reason why I stopped purchasing wasn't because it was expensive or anything. It was just because I hated washing it off. So a little honesty there. You guys know when you wash it off, it just gets all over you and you have to buy like a special makeup remover to wash it off. And I tried using the whole coconut oil method on my face and I would break out like, crazy so what solved my solution when it came to mascara was to stop purchasing it altogether number four is liquid bath soap now you guys know what i'm talking about with this it's the ones in like those pretty nice fancy bottles they have all different colors um orlay neutrogena all of those liquid bath soaps that you just squeeze onto your shower loofah and you just scrub away i completely stopped purchasing those one reason is because of the packaging. The packaging is filled with plastic. And again, I am moving or gravitating towards a more zero waste lifestyle. I'm not perfect, you guys. There's a ton of things I still need to work on, but if I can eliminate as much plastic from my house, then I will. Um, so with me, stop purchasing those little bath liquid soaps. I switched over 
to natural just bars of soap and now this has no packaging whatsoever uh, and this brand is not even a brand it's actually I live next to like this little health store down the street or a couple blocks down the street I should say they sell a bunch of bar soaps in a basket and they're all vegan they're all handmade from a local person and I just grab like four of those two for me I keep two in my house and then two for my boyfriend and it works out perfectly fine you guys I do want to say this if you are using liquid dish soap I have something for you guys like I've been using castor oil soap because I use it for um like the floors and stuff as well but I do want to switch over to a dish block. I will have this woman, she's amazing. She's doing this whole zero waste store in California. I will have her Instagram, I will have her shop all linked down below. She doesn't even know I'm saying this. I did contact her to just tell her um, what an amazing person you are and how awesome that ER products are helping the environment. Um, but yeah, she has like these dish blocks that you can use instead of having packaged dish soap like Dawn or things like that. And also you guys, bar soap is 10 times cheaper and it takes up no room in your shower. And it also is more aesthetically pleasing, if I must say. Number five is plastic hangers. You know those hangers you get from Target, Walmart, any kind of store you go to, they always ask, do you want the hangers? And we all basically say, yeah, sure. And then the minute we like get home, we put like those plastic little white hangers that barely fit any piece of clothing on them and just put them in the closet. And then weeks later, we're like, oh, where did this hanger come from? Let me see if I can hang up, uh, I don't know, like a pair of jeans. And then your jeans are like slanted because it doesn't fit that hanger. So needless to say, plastic hangers, I stopped purchasing and I stopped saying yes to when I'm cashing out or if I have clothes that I'm buying. I just stopped saying yes to those and I switched over to wooden hangers. I purchased all my hangers off of Amazon. I've had no problems with them, no splinters, um, no falling apart. They are heavy duty. They have a nice gloss finish to them. I love them and I think they are more aesthetically pleasing than the plastic ones. And I don't know, I just feel like they are also 10 times better for the environment. Yes, they are pricey, but they are worth it. I have the ones for the shirts, like, cause I like more of like a swoop neck. So when you put these on hangers, they tend to slide. I bought these little sticker things that go onto the wooden hangers. I'll have all that linked down below, but I've stopped purchasing or having any kind of plastic hangers in my house. Um, and I feel like it has definitely saved me money because I've had my wooden hangers, I want to say since July, and I would go through plastic hangers like crazy. Like my, you know how like sometimes if you put jeans on plastic hangers, they will like stretch out and they would get saggier and saggier like that bar. That's what was happening to me with most of my hangers when it came to my jeans. And I just, oh, I'm just not a fan of those. Also not a fan of wire hangers. <laughs> We all know what movie that's from. <laughs> Number six is gonna make you have that emoji face like, but that is medicine. I stopped purchasing medicine. Now you're probably saying, are you kidding me, Kira? Really? Hear me out on this, you guys. The minute I get a cold or the minute I feel a stomach bug coming on, I like to try to ride it out and try to go through the natural remedy first, like the natural remedies, like the ones where you have a stomach ache and then you take a shot of lemon. Every time I have a stomach ache, that works. Um, I've been hearing that since I met my boyfriend like 13 years ago. His mom would always give me like a teaspoon of lemon, like she would squeeze lemon and she would say like, take this, it's gonna help you feel better, it's gonna make you not feel nauseous anymore. And I used to be like, yeah, right. I need like Pepto-Bismol, I need something. Well, she was right. Every time I get a stomach ache and I have a very weak stomach um, most of the time, I can't eat as much during the day or during any day, I should say. I can't mix up certain foods. So when I do mix up certain foods and I eat too much in a day, I basically have like these bad stomach pains and I end up like throwing up. So she did give me the whole lemon spiel and that has worked. I used to just take a bunch of Pepto-Bismol. That stuff is just, oh, just even thinking about it, the taste is disgusting. But yes, I have kind of ditched buying medicine right away. Um, I should have put that in there first. <laughs> but yes, buying medicine for me is more like an easy way slash bad way out of the sickness. Of course, if I am getting really, really sick, I will go to my doctor 
and figure out what's really wrong. Now, obviously, if you have a cold or, you know, if you have a sore throat, I tend to just ride them out. I make some tea. I do any kind of natural remedies first before going to the doctors. Obviously, you guys, I'm not letting it get really, really bad. I'm not prolonging it. Um, by the third day, if I am not feeling but well or even any better, then I will go to the doctors. So when I first moved into this apartment, I bought Tylenol, the overnight Tylenol. I don't know what you want to call that. Um, I purchased ibuprofens. I purchased Pepto-Bismol. Everything that uh, people say that you need in your bathroom when you're living alone. Do you want to know what happened to all of those medications that I purchased for this place? They went into the garbage because they were all expired. I put, I've been I've been living in this house since 2017 and it's 2019, so most of the, the medicine that I purchased expired and I never got to use it because I didn't really get sick that much. So I promised myself that I would not purchase unnecessary meds ever again. In my house, I only have peroxide and you can't drink that. So that's the only thing I have in the medicine cabinet. That's it. Number seven is yogurt. Even though I am vegan, you guys know this. When it came to yogurt, they have a lot of vegan yogurt in my area. I was purchasing a ton of them and eating them for breakfast with granolas, all that stuff. Now, when you're purchasing something every week, it tends to become a bill. It tends to become part of your bills. So what I did to stop purchasing yogurt was make my own. I basically get some almond milk, some chia seeds. I let it sit overnight and voila you have your own yogurt. If you guys do not know, chia seeds actually expand when they are sitting in liquid form. I don't even know how to explain it or how it happens, but needless to say, if you soak chia seeds in like a cup of almond milk, then you will have like a liquid consistency like yogurt. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I have saved me around $40 a month without purchasing yogurt and just purchasing a big bag of chia seeds for like $10 and just using that for breakfast. Number eight was one of the biggest questions that I've had on my Instagram lately and that is I do not purchase teeth whitening you guys. Uh, when it comes to my teeth, I think they are naturally white because I do not smoke. I've never smoked in my life and not just that, I don't drink coffee and I don't drink tea as much as I used to. Um, coffee I never drank. When it comes to tea, I do love jasmine tea a lot. I love green tea, but I backed off because I know that they stay in your teeth and I just didn't really want hot tea all the time. I'm not like a hot drinker, like a hot drink person. I'd rather have like a nice ice cold drink instead. I think what's really helped me with the whole teeth whitening thing is besides the fact that I don't drink coffee or smoke, is that I floss, well I water pick floss, I guess if you guys wanna say that, like that machine that you just go in. I do that twice a day, once in the morning and then once before I go to bed. And then I also brush my teeth three times a day, in the morning, after lunch, and before bed. And that's about it. I will have all my like teeth stuff linked down below so you guys can check that out for yourselves. So for everybody asking me what to use for teeth whitening, I'm so sorry you guys, I do not use anything. I really don't know what else to say, but I just take care of them every day. Number nine is wire headphones. I was the one to always purchase wire headphones because that's all I knew. Especially in high school, you got the skull candy ones, you had the gummy ones, and now obviously you have the awesome Apple headphones. But when it came to wire headphones, I would purchase so many of them because the wire at the bottom where you plug it in would always rip. For some odd reason, it would always rip. What I did to replace that, or what I didn't do actually, was a gift, was I got some wireless headphones, the AirPods. My boyfriend gave me those as a gift when I turned 27. Um, that was not this birthday, it was last birthday. And I was so happy that he got me them because I didn't want to dish out the money to buy headphones like that just yet because I had other goals in mind. But um, those things are amazing. They're awesome for the gym. I don't feel like the wire is getting trapped on the weights or getting trapped on the treadmill like my other ones were. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, wireless headphones are bad for you. Listen, everything is bad for us nowadays. Literally everything. Even us holding our phones in our hands every day is bad for us. 
Um, this is just my choice. You guys don't need to get wireless headphones. I enjoy having them. If it's bad for me, then it's bad for me, not you. <laughs> I'm just stating that because I've got a lot of hate in the comments when it came to the AirPods. There has been no proven fact that those cause any harm to us yet. Obviously, we don't know, but I feel like a lot of people are worried about others too much and not worried about ourselves. So the, wire he the wireless headphones, I enjoy, I like, and I feel like it's definitely helped my lifestyle out with me running around all the time and not having my phone attached to my hip or on me while I have my headphones in. And number 10 on my list is something very simple. We have it in our kitchen and that is aluminum foil. I think I only purchased that twice in my house and I realized, you know what? I do not really need this. I used to buy it when I would wrap up vegetables and now I'm just like, um, I could just cut up the vegetables and put them in like those glass jars that I have, like I said, and call it a day instead of having constant waste going to the landfill. So there you guys have it. Those are the 10 more things that I have stopped buying throughout this year. Let me know in the comments or on Instagram what you have stopped purchasing throughout this year of 2019. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.